With the public assistance and child disability programs of the welfare unit nearing full capacity, a critical six-week review process for grant beneficiaries has begun. The review, running from September 9, 2024 through to October 18, 2024, is crucial for beneficiaries to update their information and renew their cards, ensuring that only eligible people continue to receive support. Acting Deputy Director of the Welfare Unit in the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Jean McFarlane, highlighted the growing challenge of managing in the grant programs, noting that there is currently a significant wait list for new applicants. Families whose children are turning 21 and aging out of the child disability program are urged to act as these beneficiaries may no longer qualify but may be eligible for public assistance to continue receiving support. McFarlane stressed the importance of beneficiaries visiting their local welfare offices to confirm their details and maintain access to essential services. Well, at this point, we do have a bit of a wait list. Um, and if we're not able to remove persons, then it, it, it's natural that we're not be able to add new applicants. And so it is a process whereby the child gets to 21, um, they're removed from the program, perhaps they're applied for PAP, and we're able to now place new children, new applicants on the program. During this review period, beneficiaries are required to provide identification, medical reports for those in need, proof of school attendance for children, and banking details to confirm active accounts. Failure to comply could result in a suspension of payments and a loss of access to essential services. I'd want to say that um, persons who do not come into the welfare office um, to have their documents renewed, um, there is a possibility that the funds will be suspended. Um, also, with that card, there are other services that they would be able to access at the hospitals, um, eye care services at Blind Welfare and so forth. And so if an expired card, they would not be able to access those services. So it is very important that persons come in with the required documents to update their files and to receive the new cards um, for the next period. McFarlane reiterated that while the welfare unit is eager to welcome new recipients onto the program, it is essential to remove those who are no longer eligible to make room for others in need. The welfare unit is urging all beneficiaries to contact their local offices for assistance during this review period. From the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Anisia Antoine.